on behalf of principal radha ambekar faculty members students i welcome mr saurabh karandikar a few about few words about saurabh karandikar student of sir yogi school of applied art having started out as an advertising professional 26 years ago today he advises advertising agencies digital agencies and product and technology companies on design identity uh, identity design user experience design and usability and various other facets of brand communication he also teaches at various graduate and post grad colleges in and around the city and if it's not students he's talking to he addresses conventions and various marketing and communication meets to talk about professional life universe and everything he had the good luck to be a jury member on a few occasions for design related awards and i am helped institute at and i have held institute academic awards at art colleges across the city and when he is not teaching or delivering speeches he writes a weekly column on advertising in a few regional marathi weeklies he worked for e division dyr as a creative head advertising avenues as a senior art director interact vision mudra group as an art director the clients he has worked with airtel colgate city bank star tv cnbc kaya clinic tata motors rasna kingfisher kingfish airlines reliance industries vip lovable singapore tourism these are just a few he has won many awards like the khan silver lion khan nomination bnr silver silver abe for web design to name of you i now request mrs saurabh karandika to take over so you can start over thank yes, you yes thank you very much uh, it's always a pleasure to be at raheja uh, thank you and- and uh, uh, i would like to also say that this is where i started teaching uh, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, right sir. out of college uh, so uh, the I, i i always like to start the lecture which i take at raheja with small story of how it started uh, so i'll sure. take that one minute and then then i'll go to this presentation um, in fact my sister used to study in uh, uh, yeah. raheja and yeah. and she used to bring in assignments at home and you know just telling me how uh, professors have given marks and all that and i used to be uh, that time i think i was working for interact vision and i was already part of advertising uh, you know industry so i used to look at that those assignments and say ah tujha kay professors na kay kalat nahi the way they are saying is not you know it's not right so uh, my sister being my sister she actually went to the uh, professor uh, mantri sir uh, and and uh, she said that uh, my brother says that you don't know anything okay so that was a dangerous one so what happened was uh, sir called me uh, to his cabin uh, and i i already like you know apologized uh, to her, him saying that you know all i was trying to say is that uh what i said was professional and not academic and all that and i i really don't remember what i said at that time but at at, at the end of that uh, uh conversation what he said was that uh, if you think uh, you know so much uh why don't you come and talk to our students uh, and that's how it started so i was pretty nervous uh, i put together some presentation with my collection of old ads and everything and tried telling them how advertising works and everything it was supposed to be half an hour lecture went on for about 2 hours uh, just you know talking to people and all that and uh, sir said at the end of the uh, end of the session that you should continue this so um, i think i have been doing it for last 20 23 years i think uh, no. to that so it started from no. there from from this class it started so i, I had to say it uh, before i begin uh, and i'm i'm very happy that this is the second time that raheja as a whole had called me to talk about copy uh, and i'm i'm really happy about it because i am not a copywriter okay i i am i am an art director to begin with uh, and now i have changed industry now i am in user experience so therefore i have got nothing to do with advertising now <laughs> but uh, i realized that i always liked copy when i was in uh, jj 
uh i wrote the advertising campaigns for some of my seniors when i was in third year when i was in fourth year so i i wrote their campaigns which uh, they went up and you know put it in their presentation uh and and in uh, it happened so that one of the campaigns that i had wrote uh, written for uh, wrangler jeans uh, was actually taken to the client that time when i went with my senior to meet wrangler jeans and we tried to sell that campaign didn't happen but we tried it nonetheless so uh, i always wanted to write from that uh, time but uh, obviously when you are an art director uh, you are supposed to do your work first uh, and your seniors tell you that you know calm down you may be liking copy but there are copywriters who will write so uh, uh, maybe what happens as somebody had told me in in the industry that uh, as years go by as you uh, become little senior the line between art and copy kind of blurs okay so uh, we are supposed to be aware of everything it's not just art not just copy but communication in general so with that uh, i would like to share my screen and uh, uh, you know present few slides that i have got together uh, after that we will have a, a, a you know chat about whatever uh, whatever questions you might have because the lecture this is not a lecture lecture although there are slides uh, it should be a conversation so let me begin give me one second just let me know uh, somebody let me know whether you can uh, see the screen i am going to go full screen is that fine हाँ दिस तरह या दिस तरह सगाना हाँ नहीं अजून नहीं दिस तरह ओके मेबी व्हाट आई विल डू इस आई आई स्टॉप द शेयरिंग एंड स्टार्ट अगेन ओके नाउ जस्ट सी वेदर वेदर यू कैन सी इट यस सर वी कैन सी ओके ग्रेट यू कैन सी दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई एम गोइंग टू गो डार्ट ऑफ कॉपी यस डार्ट ऑफ कॉपी Okay, great. Okay, let's begin. Uh, so my name is Saurabh Karandikar. Uh, I've put this alphabet soup just to tell you what my qualifications are: Bachelor of Fine Arts, of course, uh, and a certified user experience analyst and usability analyst, which we will discuss later if you want to. Uh, the, these are the clients that I worked on in last uh, now about twenty six years. Uh, but but this particular list is obviously the first sixteen years in advertising. uh but change is constant things change uh, so i have worked in advertising from say 1994 i should say even not 95 because i was already working when i graduated uh i continued to work in advertising till 2010 then i switched my career now i'm i'm in user experience so from 2010 to today i've been working in user experience so i have done some campaigns which are uh, uh, you know uh, brand campaigns for things like airtel uh, and uh, city business city bank and several other clients uh, even taj hotels so this this particular ad you will see that uh, these are the uh, the celebrities that i have stayed at taj uh, and and their uh, you know picture kind of comes out of that typography uh, uh, it, this was about taj holidays uh, and last 10 11 years i have been working with these corporations uh, doing user experience projects uh, through agencies or sometimes directly uh, and my output now looks like this so i am designing interfaces i am designing this is uh, asia's first ad, uh, agricultural information system uh, so it essentially like financial information puts agriculture information together i have designed games so this one is live pools much like dream 11 slightly different format which just got sold to uh, dan bilzerian so it doesn't uh, appear as live pools anymore uh, i have done personal finance uh, uh, applications such as one account where you can see all your money together in in one place and then you can transact i have also done uh, applications for music directors uh, to find uh, you know uh, make melodies essentially uh, i have i have also worked a little on groupon uh for their pitch uh for certain uh, uh companies in america uh, uh some touch screen stuff i have done uh, uh, but uh, this is the question that i would like to begin with which is what is creativity in advertising uh, i know uh, it's it's a question that everybody asks and you already know the answer but i'm just going to um you know make it slightly 
clear for myself so uh, this kind of org chat as we call it you must have seen business typically is divided into four uh, separate pieces uh, obviously any business whether you are a multinational company or you are just selling uh, homemade food uh, and and uh, during pandemic you must have seen that around us there were lots of people who wanted to sell whatever they make at home uh, so even if that is the business there are still four p- four parts of the business one is production of course you make things uh, finance you uh, make sure that there is money uh, which can help uh, make those things personnel obviously people and fourth is marketing so marketing essentially is the one where you get money money from the market uh, and in marketing there are several things in marketing there are uh, things like distributions uh, sales strategies there are several things and communication is one of them so communication uh, when i say it's uh, there there are public relations publicity advertising and in, in advertising we are just one part which is creative so now you know how small advertising creativity is in business right but it is extremely effective that is what uh, that's why every business uh, pays attention to this creative bit it's nothing to do with uh, you know doing great pictures because we love pictures or writing great copy because we love literature it is to sell something it is to essentially have an effect at the end so we are in the business of leaving impressions that that's how i see this business so when you are in business of leaving such kind of impressions obviously we should know about the tools of the trade right so we should know exactly what does what so if you if you look at advertising creativity which is the tip of this uh, uh, you know lipstick and the rest of it is the marketing strategy so there has to be a strategy which decides how the creative product is done okay so words and visuals they are part of that part of advertising that means the strategy comes first then the words come uh this is one example that i always give in uh, all of my lectures this is essentially about how much uh, do you see and how much do you remember okay so there was one piece of statistics once upon a time uh, which said that uh, we see 50000 messages a day okay our brain receives 50000 stimulus uh stimuli uh, in the day and how much do we remember out of those 50000 so this is 50000 dots uh just to clarify and out of those 50000 dots we only remember about seven things every day so every day we are going to remember seven things they may be you know uh, some good ad that we have seen or maybe a good forward a joke that somebody sent you on whatsapp or it is going to be some shattering news which is there uh, which will, you will remember but you will only be able to retain seven things in your head every day so next day again 50000 again seven so in advertising our job is to make sure that that one dot that one message that we are crafting uh, uh becomes the uh, effective one it has a voice it talks to people and it is effective and it sells so it's very clear 50000 versus 7 so if you do something a little less perfectly it's going to land in 50000 it's not going to land in those 7 right so what do we do we talk about our products we talk about our services or causes even it doesn't have to be commercial all the time in applied art it can be even public service so when you are telling about something uh this is one of the old uh, uh lines which says tell in order to sell it rhymes so it's nice but it's not enough because there are lots of people doing the same thing so what do you need to do tell well in order to sell you have to say it in a way that makes people remember you right so it has to be well thought you need to properly think about your message and it has to be executed well <coughs> now i don't need to talk about execution i am talking to art people uh, uh, and, and and you are very effective in visually communicating something but there is always other side but this is how advertising works and this is what you have to be aware about i'm sure you you must have been taught that already but i'm going to anyway uh, you know reiterate it so in advertising what happens is lots of things are told to lots of people you know those 50000 ad messages or whatever so it 
grabs attention of few people yeah so a and then there are less number of people who are interested in what you are selling or what you are saying so attention lot of people interest less number of people because not everybody is going to be interested in what you are saying right but beyond that there are very few people who will have the desire for the thing that you are saying so i have a mercedes car a car ad i like it so I, I, it grabs my attention i am interested in that car and i also have the desire to buy that car but do i have the money for that maybe not but am i convinced that this is the right car for me there will be very few people who will be convinced about what you are saying so attention less number of people interested less number of people have desire for it less number of people are convinced about it yeah and just very very few people will take action so a i d c a the last bit is action and that is what we seek that people should look at our message uh, our message should grab their attention uh, they should be interested they should uh, have desire for what we are saying they should be convinced that we are the people that will give that uh, product or service or cause and people take action right so if you have a great idea you know you do your campaigns or you present your uh, stuff uh, assignments to your professors and you have a great idea but the moment you have the idea the idea almost tells you how it should be put together right how it should be executed and how is it going to be executed art and copy so there are visuals and then there are words so we are aware about visuals we know the visual history we study history of art uh, we look at uh, several websites and ads of the world and what not and you, you know exactly how advertising is supposed to look and what grabs attention and what creates interest but there are words also which help that okay so how do they help using words let's see some of the examples of words being used very interestingly okay so when i say words don't mistake it for going to library and becoming a great writer okay it is not about literature i am not saying that everybody who writes uh, copy uh, is well versed in shakespeare and and uh, you know all the poetry of the world and everything no they know how to communicate and while they communicate they use words as their tools right so in this class itself i am sure that there are people who are more interested in words than visuals it's fine don't worry about it i was interested in both when i was in college right so uh, should you read more definitely you should but is that how you become a great copywriter i don't think so okay it has to be about communicating ideas so using words in a sense that our directors will look at it so that's why i was showing these examples because uh, how how to utilize letter forms is also a, a different kind of art okay so this is done for bmw and this is uh, put in uh, an airport walkway so what it reads when you go across is exceed maximum so because it's trying to say that the boot space in this car is so big that uh, it can take as much luggage that you are getting and exceed maximum are two words which are heard in airports because the moment you have more luggage it exceeds maximum then you have to pay for it right so that is the reference uh, that is being used here uh veja magazine uh they say that we give both sides of the story so uh in this particular one they have used the words peace and war and what you see is george w bush's picture so it's uh, about uh, uh peace and war but uh, it it's really bringing out uh, a personality is osama bin laden dead or alive that was the question that time and that is how they have put this together so now this is using words is this copywriting maybe not this is using lettering so this is the difference right we will discuss this later if you want <coughs> fashion claims more victims than you think this is what the ad for world wildlife fund says and what you see is just those small uh, tags which say excel and s so you know that fashion has claimed these victims and that's how uh, that's how this is being communicated this is the ad for nike if you haven't really uh, looked at the logo up there 
but nike is trying to say that michael jordan and isaac newton if they were in competition what will happen michael jordan wins isaac newton doesn't win so isaac newton in this case uh, is gravity really and michael jordan is defying gravity michael jordan is the person who's uh, wearing those shoes and therefore he wins over gravity that's why he jumps higher that's what uh, these particular uh, uh, this particular combination of words is saying very different difficult to understand at the beginning but you will get to see it uh, condoms can cause wrinkles so when this really ad came about it won many awards by the way and when i looked at it i said that what does it mean so in marathi uh, households when uh, there are old people and you do namaste to them uh, they uh, bless you in a particular way okay ashirwad deta na kay mantad mahatara ho and when you say that that really means that you should live a longer and richer life so if you are protected uh, you will live longer that is the message that this ad is supposed to give this is a legendary ad i uh, i think i think this one uh, the ad of the millennium uh, this was created by trikaya gray uh, vikas gaitonde uh, and and uh, uh, alok nanda and and uh, this this was uh, essentially just to get some uh, small kids uh, for a shoot but the way it is being uh, written nude models wanted it grabbed attention so AIDCA. This almost checked all the boxes, but obviously, uh, action and conviction will be only those parents who want uh, to take their children to the shoot. Uh, because if you see the age, eight to twelve months, it's small. Till that time, nobody knows what this ad is all about. Virgin Atlantic. Uh, this brand has done this uh, quite interestingly. Uh, on the belt that you have at airports, you see that luggage is coming out, and it, there is a, a, also uh, you know eggs that are coming out. So they have, they have handled their luggage so well uh, that eggs haven't broken, okay, haven't got broken. So now obviously this is exaggeration. Eggs have not really flown the airline, but the point that is that the advertiser is trying to make is we are careful. and that's why these crates which are kept they just went about creating smiles and if you were in that airport that day you are definitely going to remember this one vodafone's ad for some time you don't even realize what this ad is all about you see an outdoors picture and you also uh, also see that it's actually just a wallpaper so they have a series of ads which are just wallpapers and just one line which says it's time to get out for real and vodafone obviously sets you free and therefore you can go out that was the this is very old campaign but but the way it is being shown is like uh, it takes a second for you to realize that that a line hits you a little later when you look at the visual small but tough polo so volkswagen polo the car they just wanted to say that it is small but it is very tough and you must have seen these kind of uh, uh, you know uh, scenes in hollywood movies where uh, the police shootout is happening and the police is taking a shelter behind uh, uh, their cars but in this case they have left their car they are taking shelter behind uh, volkswagen polo because that is the tough car but then sometimes you can't uh, translate this uh, to a campaign unless you use different devices for instance they did this translation of that campaign and people did not realize what was this this was just a crossword puzzle but it was tough to solve that puzzle so the idea of toughness is being difficult to solve in this case <laughs> but it brought smile to people because it just said small but tough but this time it was a, a a crossword puzzle rather than the car itself economist campaign is something hands down i think you should just go to the internet and find all the ads that are there on economist uh, magazine and it, it is just brilliant i mean if you see this i never read the economist is a line but it's said by management trainee age 42 management trainee kon hota hai age 42 mein in age 42 you are supposed to be uh, higher up in some company but if you don't read the uh, the economic uh, economist magazine then you most probably will just remain a management trainee regardless of how old you are 
would you like to sit next to you at dinner you know you always say i would like to sit next to some powerful person at dinner if you ask me i would like to sit next to elon musk uh, at dinner and and what this ad really says is why don't you become that successful person that you want to sit next to right this is also nice if your assistant reads the economist don't play too much golf so this this tells you that guys your juniors are also coming up they are going to take your job so you better watch out and this is one brilliant use of uh, outdoor media uh it just says hello to all our readers in high office and who will see this just think about it in a company in a company office <coughs> the person who's most successful in that company has the corner office where he looks down okay everybody else is sitting in cubicles but that person has the corner office so he is the person who's looking down and smiling at this ad <coughs> Uh, Ramanush Shastri, uh, uh, one of my bosses back in Rediffusion Vinar, uh, and Anisha Sarin, who used to work with me, they wrote this campaign, and this campaign was really on packaging. So, if you see Himalayan waters bottle, uh, you will see that uh, there are stories which are there. These are the stories of the the water itself. The water is telling their own stories, and just gets you interested in the product. And that's the point of writing like this, beautifully written. <clears throat> and i know for a fact that ramanu shastri made uh, anisha sarin write this about 20 or 30 times it's just one paragraph but the crafting had to be perfect and it's just beautiful if you i don't know whether you get it nowadays but if you do somewhere on internet if you see just uh, just look at it it's beautifully written take a look at this your four times it's hard to it's a little difficult to read this now just read similar colors just says you are four times more likely to have a road accident when you are on a mobile phone right so it just says it's hard to concentrate on two things at the same time you understand so this is the message that they are trying to give that uh, you should not do two two things at a time but the way it is written and the way it is composed so art and copy coming together to have this effect when you read this you will take some time to read but once you read it it's going to be so interesting that you will take a picture and put it on instagram or something like that right so that is the idea here so on on this note i am going to uh, show you a, a, a one or two videos that i had put together uh, for you one is the ad it's a political ad uh which was for uh, an argentinian election and the other one is uh for vodafone it's a series of ads quite interesting so take a look at it now i'm going to share it again just give me one second just let me know if it doesn't play or you can't hear it right this is a trick Wow, no, we can hear it. Yes, sir, we can hear it. Great. If we turn, If we turn things, things upside, upside down, down, we can't be the best country in the world. I'd be lying to you if I said that Argentina has a great future ahead, that we will be a safe country, that our economy will be strong, that our children will be healthy, get an education, and have jobs. Before anything, you must know, our country does not deserve such things. And I'm convinced of this because I know the Argentine people. Corruption and hypocrisy are in our nature. I refuse to believe under any circumstances that we could be a great country in the coming years. Thanks to the people's votes, this country is sinking to new depths. But there are even more surprises to come. Argentina has only one destiny, and whether we like it or not, this is what we need. You should, you should know that, that I believe exactly, exactly the opposite. opposite. This, This is, is what is real. real. And, And whether you like, like it or not, not. Argentina, Argentina has, has only one, one destiny. destiny. There, There are even, even more surprises, surprises to come. come. This, This country, country is sinking to new depths. depths. But, But thanks to the people's votes, votes, we could be a great, great country, country in the coming years. years. I refuse, I refuse to believe under any circumstances, circumstances that corruption, corruption and hypocrisy 
our inner, inner nature. nature. And, and I'm convinced of this because I know the Argentine people. people. Our country does not deserve, not deserve such things. things. Before, Before anything, anything you, you must know that our children will be healthy, get an education, and have jobs. That our economy will be strong. That we will be a safe country. Argentina has a great future ahead. I would be lying to you if I said that we can't be the best country in the world. If we turn things upside down. This is the truth. So even today, I saw this ad maybe uh, 20, 23 years ago, maybe more. When I see the ad this today... December 22nd yes, may right. become known as the day... Sorry. So uh, so when I see this ad even today, it, it just gives me goosebumps. Because the way the copy is written, uh, it is crafted in such a way that if you read upside down, uh, then it means completely different. The meaning changes. And when the meaning changes, you know that it is not just, uh, you know, it gives you a very, very negative feeling when you're reading in a way. And it gives you extremely positive feeling when you uh, go the other way. And, and the message in this particular communication is that we should change things. We should turn things upside down. So that was the brief which is given to the writer that, you know, uh, what are we saying that if you uh, elect me, uh, then I am going to make sure that things are turned upside down. And that was the brief and that's how it was written. So the way the words are used right now is to communicate that simple message. In visual terms, you may do it differently, but when it comes to copy, this is the way you do it, right? And I'm now going to show you something uh, more interesting. It is it is shortness of that. Now, this was really long, right? This is really, really long. But what if you have only three to five seconds, just three to five seconds to communicate? Okay, the message here is from Vodafone and I'm not going to say what the message is. You will get it, right? So give me one second. I'm going to share that video now. Dad, I'm gay. Excellent. Sometimes life's more than a three-minute conversation. Talk for up to 60 minutes, pay for just three with Vodafone. I'm not I'm your, not dad. your dad. All right. Sometimes life's more than a three-minute conversation. Talk for up to 60 minutes, pay for just three with Vodafone. It's off. No problem. Sometimes life's more than a three-minute conversation. Talk for up to 60 minutes, pay for just three with Vodafone. Dad, I'm pregnant. Oops. Sometimes life's more than a three-minute conversation. Talk for up to 60 minutes, pay for just three with Vodafone. No, 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 no. Sometimes life's more than a three minute conversation. Talk for up to 60 minutes, pay for just three with Vodafone. So these ads were just talking about life. That conversation has to be more than just three seconds. Uh, uh, but but the way it is done, the, the, the entire ad is not more than five seconds, but it ca kind of captures your imagination. You remember it. Uh, so if you say 50,000 versus seven, you'll definitely remember this one. And nowadays, thanks to internet, you know how many things are coming your way. And therefore, it is more and more difficult uh, to really uh, capture somebody's attention. And for that, you have to make sure that your message is well written and and well presented so i'm going to again share back uh, the presentation just let me know where, when it is visible yes so yes so oh, okay great uh you should always look at the history of advertising uh, when you want to see the power that uh, copy has now, this particular campaign, We Try Harder, this is, uh, this is a classic campaign that came from uh, the car rental company, uh, Avis. Avis is number two in the rental car. So why go with us? So the entire campaign was, we are not number one. It's a crazy thing to do. Nobody in their right mind would have thought about this advertising. They would have said, Are yaar, tu number do hai, uske mein baaki karta hai. unless you are number one, don't even talk about it. But then they said, no, no, let us say that we are not number one. 
and therefore we are the people who will try very very hard to please our customers so therefore please choose us uh, and and they became number 1 as a result of this and they they could no longer run this campaign so from history to future now when you look at anything you want to become a good copywriter you want to become a good advertising person or you just want to become a good craftsman of anything or uh, craft crafts person sorry uh, you have to look at historical evidence of what is right what is great you also have to look at what the future holds for you so we have to look at uh, the entire span of, of an industry so if you look at language itself how it evolved uh, you know that uh, it, it evolved uh, on the on the walls of the cave uh, when we were living inside caves once upon a time and we communicated with others about what we did and how we won over animals and you know threats and other people and all that so so those days the those ideograms as they are called essentially they are giving you an idea so when you have something like this uh, it, it was called a man and if you if you just have a bow and arrow next to it then that uh, became enemy right so that that was the meaning so in this case man and hand uh, will mean friend yeah so this is putting together ideas that are communicated via pictures so this is a woman and this is a broom and this is wife obviously people will hate them for saying it like this but that's how they said but thankfully those things changed uh, and became better and better over its centuries uh they became pictures rather than uh, uh, which which spoke about something there was a meaning behind it much like the cave paintings but then they figured out they needed more and more of them to communicate something how would they communicate something in a series so that that becomes better in uh, phoenicia uh, near lebanon uh, there was one movement which said that okay let's let's change all this let's not have picture which is about a concept but let it be about a word a, a, an utterance that you have you know therefore it is called phonetics so all the letter forms that started from that time it started becoming a a, a letter a word an utterance okay it was a b c d it wasn't about a for ax and ox you know not like that but uh, as we moved along uh, we we became clear about how each of those words put together each of the letters put together uh, made a different sound and that sound uh, uh, you know essentially stood for something so now we have this alphabet right okay so from ancient history we have come to today we are using this but are we really using this we are using this we are using again hieroglyphics which are back in cave days right so we have come full circle if you want to talk about the future the future is again into ideograms so change is a constant as i said right so once upon a time you could do an ad like this which says have a break have a kit kat and you will have something like this and you know that okay you have a busy life you are going on and you know maybe but in pandemic this doesn't make any sense because nobody is going out nobody is really i mean maybe now but not before that so this became became the symbol for taking a break right so have a break it just changes its language so that is how it has been people would say that okay pepsi is better than coke and they will say that there are more people going for pepsi machine than coke machine and therefore the carpet is totally worn out on on one one end but nowadays people will not say that they will have to have uh, evidence of that and in numbers uh, who is better than others so the market had uh, an ear before and obviously eyes but thanks to social media now well the market has mouth also so the the format that we had about attention interest uh, desire conviction action still remains but now social media is a megaphone one person gets in convinced he convinces his friends they convince their friends and it just goes on 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 right so it is about enticing that one person uh, about that message so it is again coming back to from mass communication it is coming to one person i just saw this and there is no uh, reason why i put it over here but just see the way the language is used to connote something it's just brilliant and what you will do is perhaps you will put it on whatsapp and more people will see, uh, see it 
so something going viral is exactly what i am talking about so this is going viral so now if that is so then our responsibility as communicators is about using uh, words and using visuals in this uh, era of change and it's a constant it's going to always remain that way so uh, currently the team in any any ad agency is art and copy but tomorrow it's going to change right there's going to be technology you already have digital agencies you already have technology which is helping to get your message across it is no longer just creating press ad magazine ads and holdings and so on and so forth so there are several technologies which uh, in last one, uh, last decade it has really taken uh, us somewhere else completely uh, our movies started looking different our reality has started looking different and uh, even our homes are now connected to our smartphones and we can control uh, any reality with the cyber reality that we have in our hand so we have driverless cars we have augmented human beings where uh, uh, you can actually control devices with your thought uh, but therefore advertising creativity also has come under a big scanner and i would like to talk about this particular case study this is about uh, a, a coffee bean advertised uh, in london but it was essentially just an experiment created by an agency so uh, let us understand uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence here what they did was uh, this is a this is a billboard essentially next to that uh, you know a bus stop kind of thing and this is digital okay so this means that it is a screen and whoever is going by is looking at it and the camera is capturing the eye movement of people who are going around right <clears throat> and in few places in london what they had was these boards showed different creatives different size of headline different headline different kind of um, you know product shot different kind of backgrounds and what they said was they all fed that into one central computer and they said that okay how many people got excited when they looked at background a versus background b headline a versus headline b product shot a versus product shot b and the computer was supposed to take a poll and then change all these creatives and change the background change the headline change the words change the visual everything and then again after some time again another measurement was taken so therefore the new set of creatives happened in a few seconds so all these uh, finally where they landed up after 100 iterations was something which was completely different it was not something that art directors had designed or copywriters had written but it was something that people paid more attention to so therefore the message changed there is a there is a possibility that advertising will change based on data and that's what you see even on google search results so that is what is happening now so people when they come to you and people who come to copywriters and art directors the kind of writing that they are going to ask for is going to change or rather i should say it has already changed netflix has uh, an internal artificial intelligence system called i think uh, shakespeare that is the name and it writes the button copy so this is what user experience micro copy ux micro copies so join free for a month or sign up now or try 30 days free what they will do is each of the netflix users or non user rather will see this button and the system will take into account which button is clicked so therefore which copy is better and they will not only stop at english they will do it in regional language also they also tried something like writing in english but it was hindi so english they wrote english and that was also fed through the computer and sorry fed through the artificial intelligence system and it was felt that it was not really effective now so it was discarded so all that making choices of what is a better copy is now also done by computer and not human beings creative directors who are sitting in ad agencies are no longer in complete control of the advertising message and that's something which is worrying but at the same time that's how we have to change if the future changes so we were designing messages right we were very careful about how the visual should look how the copy will be what kind of font will it be what kind of size should it be it was all about designing the message but now you have to design experiences going forward you have to talk about the entire experience of somebody 
watching the communication of your product and using the product and therefore that itself is the experience so uh, essential training for all of us is actually psychology we have to know how people think so uh, look at this this uh, this was done by somebody in preschool but this is the way people <coughs> behave that is the way people solve puzzles so now if that is the that is the way people think then even we have to think like that advertising creativity is reflection of society so therefore whatever is going on in society we have to do so here uh, this is now the face of creativity if you if, if i have received a message but i have not replied for 3 days the system will tell me ki baba email aa gaya tha kuch kiya nahi tune now you have to reply to that okay it's not only that that artificial intelligence is actually writing the responses that we can send to something so somebody sent me a message without writing anything but there was something to download so i had to say got it thanks or thank you or it works so these are the choices which are given to us the choices change in in gmail app based on the kind of content that you have if you have a question mark there then the, uh, the then the response to you will be answer the question or something like that. okay i got it i'll answer later or something like that and the places where you can keep these messages is also changing yeah yeah people know that yeah you are hungry but open box before eating pizza so this is this just makes people remember your brand and therefore uh, the same rules apply what we had in advertising but where it appears and in what condition it appears it, uh, it, it is crucial to know so therefore you are designing experiences and not messages see this somebody actually gave this address to amazon mandir ke samne aate hi phone laga dena main aa jaunga that's that's what the address was so so and and that is printed on the bag which is like amazing so amazon is amazing but there are some uh, in 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 this case also this was mahanagar gas and i am really irritated with this i i have already paid um, uh, mahanagar gas and the transaction was successful then why are they asking me to try again if there was a uh, 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 you should know what button to give you over there it just should be okay okay or maybe there should not be any button so those are the small things uh, that that people who write for a, a interaction have to decide but you can even talk in people's language so if you see on the left hand side it just says that there is a maybe a outdoor location where this is placed please don't hesitate to text us if you see anything that needs our attention so essentially they want this campground to be relaxing comfortable and nice and clean and everything but the way it is said on the right hand side if you see it's quite interesting right it just starts with the word sub and it just uh, has a lot of uh, ways in which uh, teenagers communicate nowadays and this is also old now but but uh, talk to you later and that is how it's uh, ended it's like you know thank you is ty instead of anything else so but but there are lots of mistakes which are made even while writing so what is this company asking me how many stars would you give us it <laughs> does it does it really sound like that when i when i hear a sentence like this or when i read a sentence like this which has stars in it oh i'm going to think about something else so this is definitely not uh, an effective way of writing down uh, star uh, ratings how you place things right so uh, there are two interpretation of this uh, you can say you don't matter you don't matter give up or what uh, you matter and don't give up so either it can be a positive message or a negative message you have to also be careful about how to place them right so people will definitely need our directors but good art directors married with good, good copy and with good technology will help so what am i supposed to do on this uh, door don't push pull only or don't pull push only the best one that i just recently received i think it was yesterday that i received in my whatsapp it just says the trouble with quotes on the internet is that you can never know if they are genuine abram lincoln well lincoln ha lincoln used to browse internet apparently once upon a time so this is something which is also a problem if i tell you to look at history if i tell you to look at future if i tell you to look at something and learn from there you have to know that that is the right source so watching internet uh, to get knowledge about how to write advertising copy uh, also is going to be a little troublesome right so uh, 
that's the end of my presentation today there is nothing else to uh, say but to answer questions if you have any uh, and so i'm going to keep it open for people to ask me anything so i've i've touched upon user experience i have not really uh, went into that further because uh, this particular class is about writing and uh, the art of writing how it was in advertising so any of any of you can ask any questions you have yes vignesh vignesh you are talking something i have kept the presentation uh, a little incomplete because of this reason only that it should start some thoughts in your head and you should ask those questions whatever whatever you can ask me i've been uh, you know what i have uh, been through in terms of career you know you can ask questions about advertising as well as user experience you can ask anything or if there is something yes. that you don't agree with you can even tell me that that's fine Yes, students, you can ask questions. Ah, uh, sir, I think you can go ahead. Then I don't have anything else to say because this was essentially uh, uh, just to say that uh, how uh, how does it uh, affect us as art people? uh that we have to be aware about what copy does we have to do it so if you have any questions about how to do this in your assignments and in your projects that may be a good uh, you know good piece to talk about but essentially uh, madam now it is up to the students to ask me any questions if there are questions then the conversation continues yes yes sir sure students <coughs> i request you to ask questions हेलो सर या हे रांची दिस साइड या हाय रांची सो सो नाउ दैट वी हैव आवर कैंपेन गोइंग ऑन सो देन फॉर फॉर मी पर्सनली इट बिकम्स इजी टू यू नो राइट द कॉपी पार्ट एंड यू नो आई एम मोर क्रिएटिव विद दैट सो देन व्हेन इट कम्स टू द एग्जीक्यूशन सो देन इट बिकम्स अ बिट डिफिकल्ट सो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इट एग्जीक्यूशन इन व्हाट वे Execution like, of the copy itself, or uh, yeah. what are you talking about? Like how to you know uh, design it? Like if it's copy, so then visual, how to add the visual and the balance of it? So your starting point is copy itself, is it? Yes, yes, correct. Okay, the starting point should be the message rather than copy. Okay, if you if you think in terms of visuals, uh, like many of the people in this class do. then you will think about it differently if you think from copy perspective it will be completely different so what happens is you uh, you have something to say to the, the consumers uh, that needs to be said well as we said like you know it has to be tell well in order to sell so that well if it says that okay this needs to be said in a particular headline in this way the headline will tell you exactly what the, uh, uh, the treatment should be for instance is it something which is uh, which is say uh, a question is it something which is uh, telling me some information that i did not have earlier or is it something which is uh, putting the information that i already have but in a different perspective right so if you are if you are going to do that then the way to execute that also will be like this. for instance want uh, to send a message which is uh, say written in uh, crayons for instance okay because it is child like a message but it is a business uh, ad it is about say business computing or something but it is about child child so you have to know okay i have this headline how do i put it and is it going to enhance it or is it going to uh, you know bring it down because if you see nude models wanted you saw that ad it just said new models wanted yes and then everything was small imagine that somebody had put a visual to it how horrible it would have become you know because uh, if i have a baby next to it which is chubby baby and says new models wanted will it really work it won't 
because that will give the joke away in a sense i mean you 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 tell jokes sometimes uh, hiranshi to your friends and you say say forward jokes on whatsapp yeah. uh, i don't forward jokes on whatsapp you do right so, i don't i don't oh you don't uh, thank god you don't even i don't at times if the uh, jokes are horrible but if the jokes are good you do that but the joke being good essentially is about the last line right it, there is a punch line at the end of the joke and that punch line makes it uh, better because if you just say the punch line first then there is no joke right so you how to, how to deliver something will be dependent on what is the content of it if you can give an example then i can tell you otherwise i have to talk in generalities like this yeah okay sir thank you <laughs> thank you yeah students any more questions any more questions marathi vicharay cha ka vichara hindi madhe vichara cha ka vichara ho sir ek prashna ahe ha bola ho ho of course ki जस तुम्हें मगाशी मनाला कि कॉपी महत्वा पार्ट तो है विजुअल के स्टूडेंट्स ने कॉपी जर लिया कारण कैम्पेन लगना है सोशल मीडिया ज्यादा पोस्ट है तो जनरली अपने एडवर्टाइजिंग मध्य ज्यादा कॉपी लिखो क्रिएटिव पार्ट तो मैं सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट ज्यादा बनता फारसा अपने क्रिएटिव पार्ट दिस ज्यादा कि तो कंटेंट असतो का किंवा मग त्या पोस्ट तयार करताना आर दे क्रिएटिव्ह और इट इज जस्ट टू गिव्ह अ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रॉडक्ट और जस्ट टू मेक अवेअरनेस टू क्रिएट अवेअरनेस ऑफ द प्रॉडक्ट सो व्हॉट शुड बी युअर थॉट वाईल क्रिएटिंग द सोशल मीडिया बिकॉज नाव वट इज सोशल मीडिया इज अ व्हेरी डॉमिनंट मीडिया अँड ऍडव्हर्टायझिंग इज टोटली चेंज इट हॅज चेंज it has changed but that's that's actually good you know because it has become so bland that whatever you do creatively will be remembered so if Correct. you if you really see social media advertising what they call is just social media messaging as you said it is essentially yes. about saying that okay this exists now get lost okay hey, i have a product ata tumhi kay karaycha te kara are bhai yachat kay zala creative is nahi hai me creative when i say it really means that it makes me think it makes me तो साधे प्रश्न विचारायचे डज इट मेक मी थिंक डज इट मेक मी रिमेंबर दॅट डज इट मेक मी मेक मी स्टॉप ओव्हर दॅट आता अमेझॉन समजा तुम्ही ऍड बघितलीत सोशल मीडियावर किंवा फेसबुक वरचे स्क्रोलेबल ऍड जे येतात अमेझॉनच्या त्यात काय असतं फक्त प्रॉडक्ट असतं ना पण आता ते तिथे टाकणं याच्यासाठी अजून क्रिएटिव्ह व्हायची गरज नाही कारण ते प्रॉडक्ट ज्यांना पाहिजे असेल ते टॅप करतील त्याच्यावर सो काही गोष्टींसाठी फार क्राफ्टेड मेसेजेस लिहायची गरज नसते पण समजा एक नवीन काहीतरी गोष्ट असेल की ज्याच्यामुळे ज्याच्याकडे लोकांना अट्रॅक्ट करायचं आहे तर ती स्पेस चांगल्या रीतीने पण वापरता येते ना त्यांनी काय नाही नाही म्हटलेलं फेसबुकने असं नाही म्हटलेलं की चांगली हेडलाईन लिहिली तर आम्ही तुम्हाला डिलीट करू तुमची ऍड असं म्हटलं का नाही आपण करत नाही आणि हा शुद्ध मूर्खपणा आहे म्हणजे सोशल मीडिया एजन्सी मी तुम्हाला एक अजून एक सांगून ठेवतो म्हणजे याची सोशल मीडिया ऍडव्हर्टायझिंगचा जो उदय जो काय झालाय तो सगळ्या मीडिया एजन्सी मधनं झालेला आहे ओके सो जस्ट जस्ट टू क्लॅरिफाय दिस पॉइंट सोशल मीडिया इज फर्स्ट अँड फॉरमोस्ट अ मीडियम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन राईट सो पुटिंग युअर मेसेज ओव्हर देअर Uh, mainline agencies could not understand how to do that okay this is i am talking about 10 15 years back so they went to digital agencies and digital agencies what they did was they said okay we don't have the same creative people what we'll do we'll put something but mm-hmm. i'll make sure that it is put again and again and we pay facebook enough so that they put in the correct kind of uh, demographics and it it is more effective within that right mm-hmm. so effectiveness became the uh, reason why you were advertising it was not the content of advertising at all so tema se se campaigns hote the sagle maxers wagera asha sagla media agency ne karala getle karan paisa kuthe to tyancha kade gela tyamule te planner hote te manale ki okay ata amala ya char post karaycha at ani amala ya pudcha 2 tasat karaycha at ani the mainline 
तिचा त्यांनी फोन केला त्या ब्रँडच्या मेनलाईन एजन्सी नाही 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 दोन तासात काही होत नाही ते म्हणाले माझा पैसा वाया जाईल त्यापेक्षा मी काहीतरी टाकतो आणि पुढे जातो ह्या असला मूर्खपणा तो झालेला सो नुसत्या गोष्टी केल्या गेल्या त्या ब्रँड जो मॅनेजर आहे त्यालाही तेवढीच अक्कल आहे त्यामुळे तो म्हणाला की नाही मला क्लिक्स मिळत आहेत ना संपलं ना पण माझ्या ब्रँडवर त्याचा काय परिणाम होणार आहे माझ्या इमेजवर त्याचा काय परिणाम होणार आहे याचा विचार त्यानं तेव्हा कोणी केलाच नाही आणि जसं आपण म्हणतो ना की प्रेस ऍड आज आपण केली उद्या त्याची रद्दी होणार आहे सोशल मीडियाची रद्दी तर एका सेकंदात होते त्यामुळे तुम्ही कितीही वाईट केलेलं असलं त्याची इम्प्रेशन वाईट पडलं ना लोकांना आणि ते गेलं पुढे त्यामुळे हा गेम झालाय ओके क्राफ्टिंग हा गेम त्याच्यातला राहिलेला नाही आणि जे पण जे चांगले ब्रँड असतात ज्यांना कल्पना असते की जे आपण इम्प्रेशन कन्झ्युमर्सच्या मनावर करतोय ते चांगलं असलं पाहिजे की चांगलं म्हणण्यापेक्षा एकसूत्री असलं पाहिजे की तुम्ही दुसरीकडे समजा काही केलं ते होर्डिंगवर एक भाषा प्रेस ऍड मध्ये एक भाषा आणि माझ्या इन्स्टाग्रामवर एक भाषा असं कसं चालेल सो ऑल दॅट हॅज टू बी टुगेदर सो दॅट कन्सर्न इट सेल्फ हॅज बीन लॉस्ट सॉफ्टवेअर अँड देअर फोर पीपल आर बट ऍट द सेम टाइम नेटफ्लिक्स इज केअरफुल अबाउट इट फेसबुक देमसेल्स आर केअरफुल अबाउट इट त्यांनी त्यांच्या जेव्हा ते ऍड करायला घेतात तेव्हा ते त्याच्यावर प्रचंड खर्च करतात अनेकदा लाईन्स पुन्हा पुन्हा लिहायला जातात आता आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजन्स सिस्टीम त्यांनी जी तयार केली आहे नेटफ्लिक्सनी ती फक्त एवढ्यासाठी त्या बटनावर ते दोन शब्द तीन शब्द काय येणार आहे त्यासाठी ते महिनोन महिने काम करतात मग ते तेव्हा कसं मग तुम्ही त्याच्यावर वेळ घालवता का कारण त्यांना माहितीये की ज्या भाषेत ते लिहिलं जाईल त्याच्यावर त्यांच्या क्लिक्स टाळणार आहेत की ती जर इफेक्टिव्ह भाषा असेल आणि ती जी इफेक्टिव्ह भारतात आहे ती युरोपमध्ये इफेक्टिव्ह नाही आहे जी युरोपमध्ये इफेक्टिव्ह आहे ती अमेरिकेमध्ये नाही आहे ह्याचाही त्यांना अंदाज आहे त्यामुळे ती आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजन्स जी सिस्टीम आहे त्यांना पण त्यांनी शिकवलंय त्या पद्धतीने की वेगवेगळ्या ठिकाणी लोकांनी किती क्लिक्स केल्यात ते बघा त्या टेस्ट करा आणि त्याच्याप्रमाणे ठरवा म्हणजे एक तुम्हाला एक गंमत म्हणून इथे सांगतो की डेटाच जग कसं बदलत आहे आणि त्या दृष्टीने व्हिज्युअल डिझायनर्सनी किंवा अप्लाइड आर्टिस्टनी कसं काम करायला पाहिजे आय एम रिअली सॉरी फॉर कंडक्टिंग दिस कॉन्व्हर्सेशन इन दिस बिकॉज प्रश्न मराठीत होता म्हणून मी असं बोलतोय बट लेट मी लेट मी टेल युअर स्टोरी अबाउट फॉर्टी टू शेड ऑफ ब्लू हॅज एनिबडी हर्ड दॅट फॉर्टी टू शेड्स ऑफ ब्लू ओके सो एव्हन विल्यम्स मला वाटतं तू आता ट्विटरचा हा होता डायरेक्टर होता आणि डिझाईन त्याच आहे ट्विटरचं डिझाईन त्याच आहे एसेन्शली सो ही युज टू वर्क अर्लियर इन गुगल ओके ही वॉज अन आर्ट पर्सन वॉज लाईक आर्ट स्कूल ग्रॅज्युएट वर्किंग इन गुगल सो दे वॉज सपोज टू डिझाईन समथिंग आय थिंक इट वॉज गुगल ड्राईव्ह ऑर जीमेल आय डोंट रिमेंबर वॉट इट वॉज इन दॅट स्टोरी बट रिअल स्टोरी बाय द वे सो ही वॉज डिझाईनिंग अ बटन विच वॉज सपोज टू बी ब्लू ओके सो त्यांनी केलं ते ही मेड वन ब्लू बटन अँड ही गेव अ आर जी बी कलर सम हेक्स व्हॅल्यू वॉज गिव्हन टू दॅट बटन अँड ही गेव टू द डेव्हलपर सेंग ओके दिस इज द डिझाईन नाव यू मेक दिस बटन सो द डेव्हलपर सेड बट आय डोंट लाईक दिस ब्लू सो ही सेड डोंट आस्क यू आर अ डेव्हलपर आय एम अ डिझायनर आय हॅव डिसाइडेड दिस इज द ब्लू नाव डू इट सो द डेव्हलपर सेड नो 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 cool i mean you are like you know this god coming from art school and all that it's fine this is the blue i'll take it but why this blue can you tell me this so evan william said I, i don't care to tell you anything so he said no 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 but just for the sake of argument why this blue and not this blue and he made another blue another rgb category percentage getle nahi he made another button right so they they were two blues <coughs> and nobody was sure about which blue to take ahead so what they did was they they escalated that within google right and they they went to marissa mayer the, i don't know whether you heard this name marissa mayer is the person who headed uh, or still heads i'm not sure yahoo and uh, sometimes she is criticized and uh, for for the way yahoo is operating right now but she was the marketing head so both of them went to them one designer one developer they went to marissa mayer and said we have this problem ha want to have blue me want to have blue what to do so marissa mayer said okay why don't you do one thing just uh, open a photoshop file put one blue on one side another blue on another side and have a gradient okay and that gradient will give you different kind of blues pick up some blues do a global ab test of what works better 
and then decide so just to tell you what goal, global av test means uh, what they did was they with the picker they picked 24 42 different shades of blue okay they made 42 buttons and they put it in different areas of the world uh, and they took a test of ab test means sometimes you show one blue sometimes you show another blue and whichever blue gets quicker response from the person who's opening the page i open the page and go to say compose and i take say 2 seconds and sometimes there is a blue because of which i go there in 1 second instead of 2 second so they measured the time which each blue was taking and they finally decided on a blue which was neither here nor there it was not even williams blue or it was not even the uh, developers blue but it was somewhere else and that was the day even williams uh, resigned from google saying that you don't need me because this is a company which is going on global data to decide what looks good if you are asking me i have done art school and therefore i believe that this is the blue that should, we should go ahead with uh, but you don't need me so each company uh, has their own culture and that culture will decide whether your opinion as an art person or a copywriter is required for something to happen so not always will you be required to do something in the tech world but when you do you have to be prepared with the best words and best visuals so uh, that is the story essentially so it says that your control in social media or anywhere definitely has gone away a little but that doesn't mean that there are no marketers who want great creatives for their uh, posts so just take take into account any kind of uh, thing going viral on social media and the posts which are made by some, some brands news jacking it is called some news is there you create something based on that news and therefore uh, your brand message gets into right so that is called news jacking you should look it up so when you do that definitely a better art is required definitely better copy is required and definitely a sense of what the brand stands for uh, is required so i refuse to believe that social media means no creative social media has given you opportunity to become creative just that nobody is taking up that opportunity because it's not required at times uh, for small objectives but there are not always small objectives and so wherever you go the post that you create and the post that a digital designer creates will be different the post that you write after you become a little more aware about copy will be different from a simple person who knows english writing copy is not writing english writing copy is writing communication and ideas so for that you need some amount of training right so that training will set you apart that training will set apart the kind of post that you are writing on social media so uh, but there will always be 90% horrible stuff and 10% amazing stuff in anything okay whether it is mainline advertising or films or uh, uh, tiktok videos or anywhere it will still be better versus worse and if you ask me if you are spending so much time of your life learning to craft something then your output has to be better than other person so so to say just to give a, a art school parallel your design and the design of somebody who knows photoshop but is a programmer will be different right yours will be better than that person simply because you know the principles of design you know how colors work you know how typography works that person doesn't know that so uh, your output has to be superior than the kind of crap that goes on outside please remember that your way of writing two lines of copy has to be better than anybody else's just because they know english doesn't mean that they are writing copy there is a distinction so uh, today if anything you should do is you should look at all ads that you always otherwise see on ads of the world but look at the copy look at the headline and figure out why have they written it like this can some other way of writing this would have been appropriate in this case so that's the study that you have to do and that study is comparative therefore more you see better it is going to be manje madam mala je 20 varshan purvi maiti hota advertising madla tya peksha mala jasta maiti na karan mi jasta baghitla so jeva tumhi jasta bagta tya tumhi kay collect karta junk collect karta ka changle goshti collect karta so there and and social media just to tell you all 
please do not get happy with the likes that you get on social media first of all stop putting your assignments on social media okay because that is a, a instant gratification uh and, and then it is a trap also because if your post doesn't get 100 likes you think your design is bad or uh, if you get 1000 likes you think that your bad design is good both are bad things it should not happen so um, uh, just to mujhe ek asa gammat manun sangto ek agency madhe naav nahi ghenar ek agency madhe maza ek mitra kaam karaycha ani to manala ki mi samja mi maza layout konala dakhavla dusra mansala आणि ती बऱ्यापैकी पॉलिटिसाइज एजन्सी आहे म्हणजे खूप पॉलिटिक्स चालतात तिकडे तर तिथे तो म्हणाला की आय आय शो माय ले आउट टू समबडी एल्स ऑन से द नेक्स्ट बेंच ऑर नेक्स्ट सॉरी नेक्स्ट डेस्क समथिंग अँड इफ दॅट पर्सन सेज सुपर क्या किया आहे आय गेट वरीड बिकॉज दॅट मीन्स दॅट ही इज मेकिंग शुअर दॅट आय डोंट मेक इट बेटर सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दॅट वेन यू गेट एनिथिंग ऑन सोशल मीडिया जस्ट क्वेश्चन द रिझन वाय पीपल आर डुईंग इट and just to tell you vocabulary mhanun ek prakar asto no like you know more words versus you know less words as you grow up you know more and more words about a language visual language is also a language and you know many many words about it as you as you grow in the profession so now please understand that if you do something which is below par but you put it on social media lot of likes are there please question the ability of people who give you likes because please question the vocabulary of people who like your work because if they have not seen better stuff they will think that your stuff is better than that no but that is personal reference so personal reference may not be the benchmark against which you should measure your efforts if you want to become better then you have to see more and more you can't see only few things like everybody you know i used to call it you know by jokingly everybody is micro celebrity like whatever i say if i say i had a breakfast there are at least three people who will say like but i am a celebrity only for those people not everybody else so i need to know that reference group decides how good you are and it should not be so so the question that you should ask is if i write a headline or if i write a piece of copy or if i design a, a particular layout will two things will it be liked by the majority of the profession that is one liked as in internally they may not say it but will it be liked by the entire industry and two forget liking you are not here to make nice looking pictures will it sell because that is the objective of your advertising if your objective of the advertising messages uh, is achieved then that's it so sometimes you can get away with below standard stuff but then we all should have our personal professional standards we should always strive to do better than what we did yesterday no otherwise what is the fun and if you uh, make sure that after so many years of art school and after knowing about so much of advertising and if you go out and do exactly the same thing that anybody does on instagram what is the point so social media matla ki mala zara bhiti vatte ya sagya karanam sathi so do not take that that is not the right advertising that is activity it's not advertising advertising mm-hmm. means messages that are craft crafted to get a response they are engineered to get good response and i don't see any engineering outside so that's not good i i i don't like too many messages unless it it's really good uh, so if somebody puts a line and that is something that i have seen in past uh done by some big brand i don't give a like because i know this is stolen or it is not even stolen they don't even know that they are stealing that's the worst thing me tana maiti is nahi hai ki it was done already in advertising and therefore it is like uh, uh, imagine ata now i i'm old so if i if i say tandurusti ki raksha karta hai live boy and today there is one line which says tandurusti ki raksha and come on it's already taken yeah sakshi you wanted to uh, I, i'll just Oh, uh, I'll just open this. Yes, Akshi, please ask your question. Because there was a raised hand, so I stopped. Is Akshi Chavan here? Uh, maybe, uh, madam, you need to unmute her or something for her to talk. I don't know.
I can't hear. Is Sakshi is there? Sakshi, are you there? I can't see her. No, I can see her, but uh, she's on mute right now. Okay. Okay, no problem. Any because I don't have uh, admin control, so I can't unmute. Hmm. Mute unmute. What question is it? No, it's not. Okay. They can do it themselves. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I hope I have answered that question about social media. The yes. Lamla answer. Yeah, it was very nice. आणि मला शेवटचं जे सांगितलं ते जास्त आवडलं. बरेचसे मुद्दे आवडले. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any more questions from the student side? Students, any more question? Hiranji, Sakshi. I just want to ask you one more question sure. uh, for these visual students. How can they improve their vocabulary, or how can they improve their visual vocabulary? Visual vocabulary. Okay, I thought you are talking about actual vocab, as in words. But visual, yeah. badal bolte ka? Yes. What can I say? Uh, they have to see more uh, and not more of the same thing. So. Uh, If they have heard about something like, for instance, Mala Adzari Koni Sangit Lagi, there is there is a, a, a great architect who has done something X Y Z. That's the building that you should see. I quickly go to Google and do that. Where just just think about the uh, old times when we had to go to libraries and you know set things up and ask somebody for. Ata kya Google hai? What is the problem? Google University is there, but the problem is that you should know what to download and what to see. uh then they, they have to see all good movies first of all they have to see if you if you want to become a better copywriter you must see also all the uh, old and new uh, uh, you know talk shows uh, conversations hear more of conversations uh, and that is the only way to improve uh, your communication there is nothing else to say manje tani kay karava ta ajun baghava ajun kasa baghava pratyekavar avlambun hai me I would at least say that the amount of stuff which is available to us when we were in college is not even one percent of what is available to uh, today's generation. But right. because it is available, they don't care about it. Or because it is available, that's uh, the value. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I go to YouTube and if I put say I want to learn design principles now, or tomorrow say suppose I hear about something called Gestalt principles of design. Okay, just all mm -hmm. principles, just all psychology. Kind of, I am going to YouTube where uh, there are several videos in it. Therefore, the 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 way people react is, "Ha, okay, okay, nantar baguya." <laughs> so nantar never happens. So you you may say that okay, I have uh, uh, the, there are uh, this is called delayed consumption, by the way. The, so this is a trend which is to say that I will not read the. Uh, a website that i'm looking at or i'll not see the video that i am i've i've started to see i'll save it and i'll see it later okay it's so much so that there was an app called read it later which became pocket and i use it uh, many times so i have about 10000 articles which are there which i have not read but every every week i always go to that 10000 at least scrub the surface and read at least two three and then delete them so i know that i have taken some some amount of pain to do that so i am sometimes worried of the fact that there is so much available there are no filters to tell you that this is the right thing to be uh, looking at so ek ek yachavar na ek ajun ek athvan sangto maji ki um neil french tumhala maiti asel tar to world wide uh, creative director hota amcha uh, wpp cha uh, and, and amazing creative person so he had come down to take workshops uh, of us in redefusion vinar So in one of the workshops, he was telling us how horribly bad we are. Okay, so that's why he did this. My that's why workshop la French fries is something that kind of turns out to me. So like he's known for being harsh to people. So uh, so he he was harsh to us, obviously saying that you idiots don't know anything. That kind of uh, you know tone of voice. So we were all listening to how what kind of idiots we are, and he was like going on and on about how you should see visual things and how you don't know enough about go see same. same discussions that we are having right now 
ओके आणि मी त्याला हात वर केला तर म्हणाला येस मी म्हटलं त्याला एक प्रश्न विचारतो मी तुला म्हटलं हाऊ डू आय नो दॅट द थिंग दॅट आय एम लुकिंग ॲट इज द राईट थिंग टू लुक ॲट अँड ही कुड नॉट आन्सर मी सो ही रिमेंबर्ड मी बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट ही सेट दॅट वन गाय हू आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन आय डीड नॉट नो हाऊ टू आन्सर दॅट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आय सेट दॅट यू हॅव अ मेजरिंग स्टेक लाईक व्हॅल्यू सिस्टीम स्वतःची एक असते ना सो यू हॅव अ व्हॅल्यू सिस्टीम अगेन्स्ट विच यू मेजर एव्हरीथिंग so uh, he, uh, what his value system is i will never know what he mm. says uh, this is nice so should i take it as nice because neil friend says so or should i really think for myself and think that doesn't impress me that much so it must not be nice but then mm. what is what am i asking i am asking uh, or rather what am i comparing i am comparing my own library with his library and his library may be far greater than mine so i would always say that unless your library is great do not go and judge something to be horrible or bad or whatever so that means that ulta pan barobar hai don't consider anything to be good also unless you have seen enough good things so this is what i used to do i am going to tell you this i don't know how many people can do it now because nobody does what we used to do in college i had a i had a uh, notebook in which we used to buy magazines from roadside and we used to cut out logos and place them over there so my kade pan ashi ek ahe bhai ajun asel padleli kude tari ki i have placed all the logos nowadays it is not required because you can right click and download and everything but uh, i used to stick them and the moment i used to get a better logo i used to remove the old logo so if i get a better uh, food uh, food industry logo and i have got 5 6 food industry logos and i think that this one doesn't make sense then i used to take it out <coughs> think that no, now i have seen better things now i have read better things therefore i am not going to see it's like jokes also no you hear a better joke then only you will laugh otherwise you will not because your tumchi patadi vadat jate tumchi tolerance chi patadi vadat jate so i will say that visually take your tolerance a little up okay do not like everything so see more when when you say also have a comparative viewing angle do not just see it but see that okay i have seen this i have seen this this is better i'm going to junk the other one right so at the end of a year my book looked better than where it started so so the same thing you have to do you have to discard bad things that you have seen and given likes to and now you are feeling ashamed about given the, giving those likes it's fine I I recently did that to one logo I said nice four people immediately called me saying tu ka weda hai ga ya logo la to nice ka mantras then I quickly checked hold on I said this is a different industry I had not seen enough logos in that industry so I did one day of study of all the logos then I called all those four people and I apologized saying that sorry I should take my like back because this is crap not a good logo so they had seen more logos than me so and and those four people obviously i respect them uh, they are from the same industry and they are designers themselves so i listen to them because they their library again like i said is greater than mine so you should always respect a library that is greater than yours so uh, you need filters otherwise internet mein jaisa dhabdhaba aisa to so you have to know what to like and what to dislike <laughs> uh Correct. you have to also just make sure that anybody wants to ask anything in marathi please go on i i yes, see students students marathi. can ask questions in marathi also <laughs> although we are talking about co- copywriting and the language of business is english but it's not like that uh regionally advertising marathi itka white hai ki tya badal bolna kami bolnas bara translation se tar apan kitti ek dhindavde roz bagto khupas white hai मग काय घाबरायचं कशाला आपली वेरायटी त्यापेक्षा चांगली आहे नक्कीच चांगली साक्षी साक्षी एनी क्वेश्चन आय कॅन सी यू आर देअर नो आय थिंक दिस रेज द हँड बाय मिस्टेक आय थिंक बाय मिस्टेक आय थिंक शी गेट बाय मिस्टेक हॅलो एनी मोर क्वेश्चन या साक्षी हाय हा सर असं कधी कधी असं होत की आपली जी कन्सेप्ट असते ती थोडीशी सोसायटी बद्दल असते बट ती एका पॉईंटने पॉझिटिव्ह पण असते आणि एका पॉईंटने निगेटिव्ह पण असते पण त्याच्या थ्रू आपण जो मेसेज देतो तो एक चांगला असतो पण ते कन्व्हिन्स कसं करायचं एखाद्या आर्ट डिरेक्टरला किंवा आपल्या टीचर्सला किंवा क्लायंटला 
नेगेटिव्ह मेसेजेस होते का म्हणजे वॉट यू टॉकिंग अबाउट इज सिमिंगली नेगेटिव्ह मेसेज दोन्ही दोन्ही व्ह्यूने जाऊ शकतात ओके ओके म्हणजे ओके ऍम्बिग्युअस गोष्टी झाल्या ऍम्बिग्युअस गोष्टी म्हणतात म्हणजे ते चांगलं पण ठरू शकतं वाईट पण ठरू शकतं अशा गोष्टींचा एक प्रॉब्लेम असतो कम्युनिकेशन मध्ये तुम्ही अशा गोष्टी घेतल्यात तर त्यांचा जो अर्थ काढला जाईल त्याच्यावर तुमचं इफेक्टिव्हनेस ठरणार आहे ना म्हणजे ते थोडस अनफेअर आहे तुम्ही असं विचार करा की तुम्ही अशी एक कॉन्सेप्ट घेतलीत की ज्याचा दोन्ही प्रकारे अर्थ लागू शकतो आणि अर्ध्या टार्गेट ऑडियन्सनी असा अर्थ घेतला आणि अर्ध्या टार्गेट ऑडियन्सनी तसा अर्थ घेतला तर यु आर डिवायडिंग युअर टार्गेट ऑडियन्स ना मग ते डेंजरसच आहे सो जर तुम्हाला नेगेटिव्ह जायचं असेल नेगेटिव्ह ऍडव्हर्टायझिंग इज फाईन सो आता परवाचीच एक गोष्ट सांगतो डॉन बॉस्कोच्या बाहेर एक ते वॉल पेंटिंग्स असतात तशी काहीतरी होती आणि त्यात असं लिहिलं होतं की गर्दी टाळा आणि करोना टाळा असं त्यांना म्हणायचं होतं आणि खाली गर्दी दाखवली होती मग म्हणजे मी समजायचं काय की कारण पटकन जर मी बघितलं तर मला काय मेसेज मिळतोय गर्दी ओके गर्दी टाळा आणि करोना टाळा मग त्याच्यानंतर दुसऱ्या त्याच्यावर लिहिलं होतं की गर्दी टाळा बाहेर खाणं टाळा असं त्यांनी लिहिलं होतं आणि खाली काय होतं तर सगळेजण चौपाटीवर भेळपुरी खात आहेत सो मी म्हटलं हे मला कळायलाच तयार नाही की हे व्हिज्युअल एका प्रकारे बोलत आहे हेडलाईन एका प्रकारे बोलत आहे तर मी त्याच्यावर जरा विचार करायला सुरुवात केला म्हटलं मी हे केलं असतं तर कसं केलं असतं म्हणजे मला जर दाखवायचंच असेल ती गर्दी किंवा भेळ वगैरे खाणार तर मी म्हटलं असतं की खुशाल गर्दीत जा आणि करोना घेऊन घरी जा असं मी म्हटलं असतं म्हणजे तुम्हाला व्हायचं तर मग एकदम निगेटिव्ह व्हा ना म्हणजे एका दिशेला कळणं हे खूप महत्वाचं असतं कारण तुम्ही जेव्हा तसं करता तेव्हा मग तुमच्या ऑडियन्सला पण कळतं की अच्छा अच्छा ऑब्विसली म्हणजे ते असं म्हणायचं नाही आहे त्यांना हे पटकन कळतं सो नेगेटिव्हिटी इज बाय इट सेल्फ नॉट बॅड बट अ मेसेज विच इज आयदर ऑर इज डेंजरसली डिवायडिंग युअर टार्गेट ऑडियन्स आणि साक्षी हा पण एक विचार कर की तू जे लिहितेस आत्ता तुम्ही सगळं असाइनमेंटसाठी करताय ना आत्ता तुम्ही सबमिशनसाठी करताय पण जेव्हा तू एजन्सीमध्ये जाशील म्हण किंवा कुठेही पुढे काम करशील तेव्हा ते मीडियामध्ये टाकण्यासाठी खूप खर्च पण येणार आहे म्हणजे आता समजा तुझी एक ऍड असेल समजा आणि ती टाइम्स ऑफ इंडियामध्ये द्यायचे फ्रंट पेजला ऑल एडिशन तुला माहिती आहे का किंमत किती असते साधारण एक अंदाज देऊ शकशील तू टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया फ्रंट पेज ऑल एडिशन तुला तुझी ऍड द्यायची तर त्याचा खर्च तुझ्या मते किती असा साधारण माझ्या अंदाजाप्रमाणे तो काही काही बाबतीत आणि काही काही दिवशी महत्वाच्या दिवशी वीस ते तीस लाखांपर्यंत जातो ओके आता जर समजा कोणी जो तुझा क्लायंट आहे तो वीस ते तीस लाख टाकतोय त्याच्यावर मीडियाच्या याच्यावर आणि तुझ्या मेसेज मध्ये जे आहे ते अर्ध्या लोकांना असं वाटणार आहे आणि अर्ध्या लोकांना तसं वाटणार आहे सो अर्ध्या लोकांसाठी ते पॉझिटिव्ह असून ते त्यामुळे त्यांना रिस्पॉन्स मिळेल आणि बाकीच्यांना रिस्पॉन्स नाही मिळणार चालेल का एवढे पैसे असताना असाही एक विचार करायचा म्हणजे आपण जेव्हा टी व्ही ऍड करतो आता तू टी व्ही ऍड्स पण करशील आय एम शुअर आयुष्यात कधीतरी पुढे तर ते दहा सेकंदाची ऍड जेव्हा तुम्ही याच्यावर टाकता आपल्या आय पी एल समजा चालू असेल आता हे खूप जुनी गोष्ट मी सांगतोय तुम्हाला एक साधारण दहा वर्षांपूर्वीची कारण मी तेव्हा ते रेट्स बघितले होते म्हणून मी सांगतोय आय पी एलच्या प्रत्येक सेकंदाची किंमत बारा लाखांपर्यंत जाते कधी कधी ती फायनल मॅच असेल तर चोवीस लाखांपर्यंत पण जाते दहा सेकंदाची किंमत फक्त तर त्या दहा सेकंदामध्ये तुम्ही जी फिल्म दाखवणार आहात ती क्लिअरच असली पाहिजे नेगेटिव्ह असली तर चालेल किंवा ती कोणत्या तरी सोशल गोष्टींवर भाष्य करणारी असेल तरी चालेल पण जे काय कराल ते कन्व्हिन्सिंगली करायला लागतं आणि त्याच्यासाठी आता ट्रायल म्हणून तू प्रोफेसर्सना दाखवतेस आणि त्यांच्याकडनं अप्रूव्ह करून घेतेस ना पुढे जाऊन क्लायंटला पण दाखवायला लागतात त्यांच्याकडनं पण अप्रूव्ह करून घ्यायला लागतं कारण नाही ते एवढे पैसे टाकणारच नाही ना सो you have to make sure that they understand what your content of your uh, what your creativity is and you have to stress ki this is the reason why i have done it okay so you are showing something negative this is the reason why we we are doing it and therefore the response is going to be something like this the jema convince tu karu shakshil teva tuza client tyachavar 10 lakh 20 lakh whatever khup paisa hai na 10 lakh 20 lakh ek choti amount nahi hai 
तर ते टाकणार आहेत आणि ते कोणत्या भरोशावर टाकणार आहेत किंवा क्रिएटिव्ह पर्सन इज सेईंग दॅट इफ आय पुट दिस आउट इट्स गोईंग टू बी इफेक्टिव्ह आय एम गोईंग टू डेफिनेटली गेट फाय हंड्रेड कॉल्स अँड यु नो माय प्रॉडक्ट्स आर गोईंग टू सेल ऑर इफ इट इज नॉट अ प्रॉडक्ट दॅन समथिंग एल्स सो आता समजा हे असेल काही ब्लड डोनेशन ड्राईव्ह असेल किंवा क्लिनिनेस ड्राईव्ह असेल आणि तेवढे लोक क्लिनिनेस ड्राईव्ह साठी येणार आहेत हे जर कन्व्हिन्स करू शकलीस तू क्लायंटला तरच तू पैसे टाकणार त्याच्यात सो आत्ता आत्ता तुम्ही जे म्हणजे अशी नेहमी म्हणायची पद्धत जसं मी म्हटलं होतं ना सुरुवातीला की युअर प्रोफेस डोंट नो एनिथिंग और और यू ऑलवेज फील दॅट हा वाय शी इज रिजेक्टिंग इट आय हॅव डन समथिंग नाईस वाय शी रिजेक्टिंग इट शी इज रिजेक्टिंग इट बिकॉज इट्स लाईकली टू बी रिजेक्टेड बाय द क्लायंट लेटर ऑन बिकॉज क्लायंट इज अ सिम्पल पर्सन ही जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू सी की हे बरोबर आहे चुकीचं आहे इज इट गुड बॅड इज इट गोईंग टू गेट द रिअल रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ नॉट इफ यू कॅन कन्व्हिन्स I'm so sorry. Then they are not going to put the kind of money that they will put across. So it is just the media money that I'm talking about. They also pay advertising agencies. Jachat na tunsi salary yete. So there is a lot of money uh, involved in all this. We are all in the business of commercially selling our creativity. We are not in the business of just creating beauty like school of art. Unfortunately, we are not. We use artistic skills. Applied art out na apn. We apply the skills. artistic skills to sell something so if that doesn't sell or you can't convince somebody or it is not clear communication the khup problem ho shakte so it is better to be clear so ya sagya goshtincha vichar karava mhanun jasta goshti baghavyat mag tula te kalel ki te changla hai ka baita hai tu karu shakshil 